Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you how to use custom shapes, or shape layers actually, with the new feature of Stroke uh, in CC as well as obviously CS6. Now, this feature didn't exist in earlier versions, so obviously can't show it for those. So I'm just going to go over now to Photoshop, and I'm going to select the Custom Shape Tool, Shape Layer. That's the key thing, Shape Layer. I don't want to, just going to remove that. Now, the first thing to notice that you can't actually do anything with it while the actual that's selected or any of the other settings. The key thing is select the actual custom shape tool. Now, you can actually add a stroke, and I'm just going to go over there, add a stroke, and it's going to be three points. And there's shape options here, the stroke options. So I'm just going to select that one so you've already you can see there's some dashes there quite quick and easy now why photoshop doesn't add a selection a few more than three stroke options is baffling i mean you could imagine that they could add at least 10 or 15 but who knows why so anyway just going to select another one and that's just a fine range of dots now of course there's other options as well now of course i could also remove the fill but i think the fill makes it more visible but you could of course make some interesting effects just getting rid of the fill completely but so I'm just gonna you can align it obviously this one's inner on the edge outer not so particularly visible when it's very tiny but that actually moves slightly out you can actually see it of course you've got the caps obviously makes it rounded as well as the square mixture and there's corners as well I'm not going to go over those options but uh, especially when it's very, very small, you can't see them anyway. More options. Right, got an option here, which is basically the same as the actual options on the thing. It's got a stroke, it's got another availability of presets, exactly the same. We've got the align, like I say, exactly the same thing. But the key thing here is dashed. Now I'm just gonna go over to dashed, and when it's actually got a, a value here, zero, still a value, you can actually use the, just go over to the actual word dash and you'll see little arrows appear and now you can drag it actually makes it quite easy to explore the different options so you can just move that out just drag it along and it changes slowly but it does change yeah you've actually can see the lines become more like dashes instead of dots also you can increase the gap and I'm just gonna that's pretty slow but it can yeah you can actually see of course you've got other options here the weird thing is, notice this little slider comes up, but it doesn't work. So you actually have to enter a value first. Really weird. Why should it come up when it's you can't actually enter anything? So you put zero in, and now it will actually work. And you can actually see, as soon as you put zero, you can actually see it takes effect. So you can move. Now you can actually use that, and you can modify it slightly. You can see it change. So there is actually quite a large variety of designs you can add to the, to the stroke which is quite nice. I mean, obviously, Photoshop, well, Illustrator would be nicer, but uh, one thing that really baffles, another thing that baffles, is why the stroke value is not available within this stroke palette. Now, why? It's called stroke. It should actually allow you to edit the stroke value as well, as well as the colour. Of course, you can't, because it's modal. So you have to click OK, then go out, and... And then, of course, another thing, that doesn't move. Very odd. So you actually have to click on it and then bring the slider out to actually see more options. But it would be even make it even more powerful as a tool if the uh, it was all combined into that one dialog. But anyway, that's a quick example of some of the stroke designs you can use on shapes within Photoshop CC and obviously CS6. I hope you found this tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. It'd be really great. Yeah. I'm always adding new tutorials and uh, yeah. thank you much.